Hi guys, I'm Steph and this is David and we are your Cincy directors for Team Cincy Squad Empire. Tonight, we don't have a whole lot, which is crazy because it is a crazy time of year, except for, hey, I don't know about y'all, but I was happy to see an early payday this week. So that was great. So commissions have all rolled. Um, you should be seeing those popping up in your pay portal or um, tr transfers starting to happen into your bank accounts, all the things. It's really great. We're super duper happy about that. I'm gonna switch this to um we're super happy about all of that because it is great for all of you guys getting money into your pockets um one thing to keep in mind this is november so this is the last commission check you will get before christmas it should drop just like this one did around the 8th 9th somewhere in there like what actually what day is the 8th or 9th in december oh yeah so it's like middle of the week so i imagine we'll get uh, probably eighth, ninth, somewhere in there, um, our December commissions um, as well. So really this month is your last big push before Christmas to get some extra money in for the holidays and all those Christmas gifts you need to get for people. As a consultant, one of the best things that you can give is Cincy items. Um, when you are gifting your items, you're showing your people that you love our products and that you think that they will love them. Um, I'll tell you, we always gift Cincy when we can. Um, my family knows what they're getting from us pretty much. My grandma gets the same thing every year. Um, you know, Cincy soap. My mom gets wax, blueberry cheesecake. I have to make sure I always have that for her. But um, we try to always give something from our Cincy business. And there's a couple of reasons for that. We also use that as a marketing tool. Um, so, you know, consult your tax advisor, but um, since we're using it as marketing and we tell people we're giving this to them and that these were our gifts, um, yeah, we are able to write that off on our taxes as an expense. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, as always, contact your tax advisor if you have questions about doing that or how that would work. Um, well, November, we have, they have pushed up the Bring Back My Bar deadline. So that will be happening November 20th. 23rd. 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 I was just in the news. Oh, and I saw it. Uh, November 23rd. So November 23rd, the Bring Back My Bar bars will be available. <laughs> David was right for one time. Um, and the really cool list. It's um, if you like this scent, you might like this scent. Um, I thought that was really cool how they did that. So if you like um, a wink and a, or if you like apricot vanilla, you might like a wink and a smile. If you like apple cherry strudel, you might like apple s'mores. If you, and, uh, my dear Watson. Yes. Oh, my dear. I didn't even realize that would come back. There are going to be some happy people. Mm -hmm. So um, this would be a great thing for you guys to share like in your groups or um, send out in um, some kind of notification to your, uh, I want to say fans, to your people mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times they don't know exactly what a scent smells like, but when you can give them something comparable, <coughs> obviously it's gonna smell slightly different. My Dear Watson does not smell exactly like Mystery Man, but most people that like Mystery Man also enjoy My Dear Watson. Um, Scentsy Club. I mean, yes. this, is this is the time to get them added onto the Scentsy Club. That way you can um, reap those benefits of that. So this is really cool. Um, make sure you're sharing this list. Um, I might try to come up with a really super cute graphic of if you like this, you might like this, you know, um, but if nothing else, copy and paste y'all and share that with your, uh, your people so that they can kind of have an idea on these bring back my bars, especially if they're brand new to Cincy and don't really know what that scent would smell like. Uh, all the ones if, yeah, are, that are, if you like this, are in your current uh, Cincy samples, so, or Cincy, what are they called? Samples, right? No, testers. Your current Cincy testers. So you should be able to um, hook them up with what they kind of smell like. This um, is a good reason why it's important to know kind of what your customers have uh, purchased in the past, because if they have purchased one of the scents that are on the Bring Back My Bar, <clears throat> you want to make sure you reach out to them to let them know it's coming back. Yes. And that if they would like to uh, add it to the uh, Cincy Club. Yes. And let me see if I can share my screen with you guys and I will show you maybe if, I, if it's there. Um, I hope you're seeing my reporting screen. So you can do a sales report. 
and then you can go in here and go to product history and click view and then you can put in the product name so what was the one that's coming back my dear watson uh Cincy bar and you can select hit search and it should populate everybody that had ever bought that bar for me, from me. So between the dates, between those dates, I'm not going to actually hit the search because then I would be showing my customer information, and apparently that's a no no. Um, but you're going to get it. So you put put all your information in there, and then it will um, show you what customers have previously purchased that bar from you. So as the longer you're a consultant, obviously the more data you will build from that report. Um, and when it pulls the report up, you get their whatever information they've given you. So if it may be a person that only bought from you once, you would have their name, their email, um, their phone number, whatever you entered into the system. Uh, so like when my report just pulled up and I've got like seven people that had purchased my dear Watson Cincy bars from me in the past. So those seven people will be people that I am reaching back out to to let them know, hey, this is available in Cincy Club. Um, because there are some really good bars in there. Um, so that report is super easy to pull and definitely a great tool for you to use. Also, your newsletter, your monthly newsletter will go out soon. So if you have not personalized that to sound more like you or add a link to your VIP group, I definitely suggest you do that so that your when your customers get that, they are brought right back to you um, instead of them being taken just to your Cincy website. I think when we bring them back and you connect back in with them, you get a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit more personability than from just a straight, like, here's the email. So keep that in mind. Uh, registration for World Tour 2021 is still open. Um, you can sign up for the virtual part. Uh, oh, they did list the order soon to receive products by Christmas. Um, and I think they put the dates on there. So anything going to an APO, which would be like military, those kind of things, um, they need to order by December 10th. Um, anything going to Canada is going to need to be ordered by December 10th. Um, anything going to Mexico is going to be need to be ordered by December 14th. And in the United States, anything um, being delivered here is going to be need ordered by the 15th. I would tell you, <laughs> don't wait on the 15th. If you are still, if you're placing orders and they're coming to you, guess what you're going to be doing on Christmas Eve? Delivering orders. So when you get down to that, like I would say personally, I'm not delivering Christmas. I'm not delivering orders the week of Christmas. Um, so my cutoff date for um, shipment to me is going to be what is that December that week before that. Um, we will take we will put our last order in for December on December 4th, actually. So it's a little bit more. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop taking orders. That just means they're gonna have to pay shipping to get it directly to them because I don't wanna take the chance of them ordering something as a Christmas gift and it not making it there in time. And I feel like Boston City is very confident that orders placed by the 15th will get there in time. I don't know that I want to necessarily be out on Christmas Eve bringing people their Cincy products. So um, keep that in mind on how you want to do that. Like I said, I'm going to put my very last bulk order in for Christmas, for before Christmas on the 4th. And then I will probably do another after Christmas um, uh, orders to be received after Christmas, like the 18th. So just kind of keep, they'll, they'll, which is very similar to what I do already um, for our customers. We put, we try to place two bulk orders a month, one the beginning of the month and one about the middle of the month. <clears throat> um, and that's just kind of how we've always ran our business and it just happens that that's how that's going to fall. And having said all of that, most people that are going to order online are looking for things like on Black Friday sales and things like that. Mm -hmm. And those are around Thanksgiving. So saying the fourth is kind of a cutoff for things to arrive before Christmas um, is that little, that little window where everybody is going to be, you know, Cyber Monday, Black Friday shopping anyway. Yeah. So we um, we talked a little bit on not the last video but the one before about um, Black Friday things and we will be talking more about that again next week. So 
if you're watching the replay, uh, definitely make sure that you're here to hook up with us so we can share with you guys what our specific Black Friday sale is going to be um, because we want to show you exactly what we plan to do and how we plan to work that. Um, uh, remember, there are a lot of things that you will see that are happening in the world. <laughs> that does not mean that they are okay to Sensi, do. Sensi world. Yeah. Yes. Just because uh, you see another consultant, no matter what level they are doing something, if you are questioning whether or not it's in compliance, don't do it. Always ask first. It is not worth jeopardizing your Sensi business just because somebody else is doing something they shouldn't be. Uh, we heard a, a horror story a couple weeks ago about a lady that was doing um, that was doing pay to play, and uh, she was making this is this was genius on her part I think, but it was it's, uh, it's out of compliance. In order to enter her drawing, you had to sign up as a consultant, and then she was giving you a discount on your order. So. She signed them up using the hostess rewards for $59. And then she was giving them something else and they were able to enter into a drawing. Crazy. Um, but yes, she she is no longer a consultant. So like there's lots of crazy things that are happening out there. Um, just be mindful. You know, David and I are here. You can send either one of us a message um, and we'll do our best to answer for you. But if for some reason you're like, we're not available and you're like, you need an answer right now always use our group chat or reach out to one of your leaders um, and they will be happy to help you as well. Um, anything else? You, you can always reach out to... Yeah, you can reach out to Jill, Jen, Callie, whoever. Um, I would tell you that they all are equally as amazing and willing to help anybody in our CC family. Uh, I know that there's been times where I've had weird questions that I wasn't sure Jill would have the answer to. So I just sent Callie a message and she is so sweet and she messages me right back. Oh, right back. Yeah, I mean, we're all busy, so relatively back. But everyone has access to support as well. Yes, so. you can use your chat on the workstation or send in an open it to get if it's on the weekend as well. Um, yes. Uh, just be used, be sure you're using your whatever and yep. doing whatever right i yeah. mean but whatever. if the person has to pay money in order to be in whatever it is and they're not getting Cincy product for that money that they're actually paying then you can't do it yes I mean, that's, that's that's like the basics that's what it boils down to yes um uh, <clears throat> let's see nothing there we talked about events. Let me throw the calendar up here. We got one person is active on our front line. And yeah. Um, we have to run the report for the whole team to see everybody, right? Yeah. Um, so the newsletter will go out on Wednesday. So make sure you get those edited either tonight or tomorrow because um, it will send on Wednesday uh and then that's really that's really it for this week um so uh yeah since he will be closed on thanksgiving they'll be spending some time with their family so keep that in mind you will not be able to reach them on thanksgiving um thanksgiving is a great opportunity to do turkey trap and i did a little bit of a training on that in posted it in we shine brighter but i will share that video back into our group because it is a great time a reminder on um, offering turkey tots to your customers, which is great because they will hopefully be seeing their family over Thanksgiving. Um, and that's really it for tonight. So I am going to stop the recording here.